welcome back, folks, to uh, Peter Patter and Perry and our special guest, Lanny McDonald. Calgary needs a new hockey arena. Yes, they yeah. actually do. And if you've ever been to Edmonton and, and seen that arena, it's absolutely phenomenal. I was in Vegas uh, last week. I've been there a couple times. Their building is phenomenal. Uh, they have uh, all of these suites uh, that are uh, next to nothing I've seen before. You go to Toronto, they've got a new building. E every, everyone else. Everyone, everyone else. else. Yeah. We aren't Detroit well. has a beautiful new building. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Plus, you can go to the washroom during the game and not miss the whole period. <laughs> That's the beauty of that, it. That, that is uh, rather important if you're a hockey fan at all. It, it, and this team needs it. Well, they they really do, and you know it was it was kind of sad when uh, when the Olympics came about yeah. and or the talk about the Olympics, and they never threw in the arena. And how many yeah. people said that to you? Yeah, yeah. It, and What's so many finish? people yeah. said, "Well, you should have had the arena as a part of it," and we may have voted differently. Yeah. Well, I think it was very short sighted, uh, kind of all the way along. Uh, and you look at the economic value. I promise not to hit the, the table. <laughs> you, you look at the economic value when it comes to to what it means to the city, uh, restaurants, hotels, uh, airlines, uh, uh, taxis, uh, just everything about, across the board. How about a, a Flames payroll at 100 million mm -hmm. plus wow. Canadian a year? Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> plus, isn't it another 40 plus uh, in staff, oh yeah, uh, in, yeah, in yeah. staff yeah. and part-time uh, yeah. workers. I don't. I yeah. still. I'm, I get frustrated with when people talk about the economics because I go, okay, let's even take away the economics. This this team is what everyone looks forward to. They will look yeah. forward to something when things are bad around here. People want to talk hockey because it makes them feel good. When things are great, they want to talk hockey because they <laughs> yeah. love talking hockey. Um, we know what happened with Winnipeg and, and Quebec, and none of us want to see that at any point even think about. Like when I hear people say that it doesn't matter if the Flames are here, I, I just don't. I don't understand what what is it that they look forward to because sports gives us something to look forward to. Yeah, and they you always, know they yep. always say, sorry, Peter, that you know people oh they'll spend their money, they'll go to mm -hmm. you know the theater, they'll go do this. You know, people don't. People are going to the hockey Some game. Will. Some will. But it's not everybody. No. And the people that are going to hockey games will go, you know what? I'm going to go on vacation instead and take the money out of Calgary. Or I'll stay at home and watch yeah. hockey on TV. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, to me, the impact of the Flames in this city is just about every day when the Calgary sun comes to my door. And I open it up, and it's about the Calgary Flames three quarters of the time. Whether they won, whether they lost, whether they made a trade, whether they shouldn't make a trade, blah, blah. It's the front page of the paper. Not the sports, the sports section too, but front page. That tells me the impact the Flames have on the city and why a new arena is very, very important to have. And, and you think of all the stuff our alumni does. Without the team, that stuff yep. starts to fade away and it fades away quick because guys will not retire here because they're not playing here. Well, and part of the reason guys retire here is we have a team and we have this great alumni. Yeah. Uh, we probably without a doubt have the strongest alumni and do the most of any city in in the league right now and that also takes a whole lot of pressure off of a lot of different charities or or different organizations that need help now you think of you know think of kids sport right oh think gosh. about you know how much the alumni has done for kids sport how much, you know, Jerome did for kids sport and now I think uh, you know is Johnny doing it now for kids sport I mean, that's a major impact for them. You know, without that, you go, where, where do those charities go? Yeah. I mean, how can you grow yeah. when there are, they aren't going to get donations out of the blue? The, the team does put so many charities out in front, and then people figure them out, and then they want to support them. So, You know, when Edmonton was building their building, mm -hmm. they're spending about $3.5 billion dollars and it's going crazy, like the hotels and everything uh, all the way around there, the stores. This is what is needed here. Uh, you, you look at the economy, you need a boost. Why wouldn't we have done the same thing, uh, especially if you look back at 88, uh, uh, the, 
the entire city needed a boost, and the boost came from building a building and having the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and we, this city built a library that cost a quarter of a billion dollars, and people got excited for a bit. That's going to fade. That's going to fade. The, the, we need something to look forward to that matters and has legs. And this building is what we need something. I, I was hoping it was going to be the Olympics to look forward to, to give us something. Because, again, right now it's it's a lot of doom and gloom. So I hope I hope the counselors in this city wake the hell up and go, we need this bad. Well, it, it, if if they ever doubted it, they should talk to Mark Chipman, uh, owner in in Winnipeg. And the amount of work that they put in to try and get the team back after they had lost the team. And, and it took forever. And now they have entirely revitalized their entire downtown area. Yeah. It's booming. And it was a ghost town before uh, they built the arena. And there's a heartbeat yeah. back in yeah. that city. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. They're proud of their team. They love. They never actually. They never left being Jets fans. Yeah. No, right. but yeah. uh, mm-hmm. when it did come back, yeah, those people are so proud of their city because of that hockey team. Well, well you also look at at uh, uh, being able to host major concerts yeah. uh, here, which they can't do because of the old Saddle Dome. It was gorgeous when it was first built. It's now the oldest building in in the league, uh, so it's definitely time. Like, wake up! We need this and need it now. Like, yeah. if we don't get started right away, we're going to be looking two years down the road and say, "Oh my gosh, is this not going to happen?" Uh, period. And then, where is the team at that point? Yeah. Take well, the yeah, Jets out of Winnipeg, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they did, all you had was Winnipeg. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You know, right. So, there, mm-hmm. there was nothing to be excited about, right? And I, it, and I mean, Quebec City. I go, you never hear about Quebec City anymore. Yeah. And you think right. that that was one of the best places to go to play? It was oh awesome. my gosh! You know, the people there they were so invigorated. How with good the game. were those hot dogs? Oh, <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> best hot dogs in the league. Uh, <laughs> they kicked Montreal's <laughs> butts. Oh, they were so good. But you think of that rivalry, right? What yeah. a great rivalry it was. But yeah. now you never talk about Quebec City. No, no, no. Well, can you imagine uh, Edmonton not having? the rivalry we've always had with Calgary, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would be di- an absolute disaster. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Hopefully, the, as yeah. you said, Perry, the counselors wake up and they, they vote to go ahead and, and do something really proactive. Because you, you want to be a world-class city, you have to have world-class venues. Right? And you have to have a major league team. Yeah. And, and if you don't, you know, I mean, you're just another city. Uh, I'm going to bring back up Vegas because I was just there last week. Vegas has their hockey team, and they are first and foremost right now, and everyone loves them. They're on on everyone's mind. They've got a football team coming in. They are bidding for baseball and for basketball, basketball. and they're going to have four sports, and they can't wait. If we don't have one sport, we're in big trouble. Yeah. 